Good evening, this is Stormcastle, Stormcastle's Comics Collectibles. And recently, I got a copy of Strange Tales number 152. Uh, Nick Fury, Doc Strange, Into the Dimension of Death. That is Umar. And uh, I love Doctor Strange stories from Strange Tales. Um, this is not uh, Steve Ditko. But this is still, I love that. And I want to go over the story with um with y'all. I want to share it with you. So it's Doctor Strange, Master Mystic Art, it's Into the Dimension of Death. It says, Truly hath Stanley authorized Jan Ospepic, barely hath Bill Everett such scenes depicted, and finally did this to Arthi Artie Simic, the lettering inscribed, so say we all. So, with that, we start with uh, the story. Um, I don't have the books before um, for this one. I do have 146, which is the last Steve did go, which is uh, Dormammu, and was introduced to Clea. So, hearken to these words, O seeker of truth, and then... The grip of power more mystifying than any he has ever known, Doctor Strange finds himself hurtling through the endless wastes of nowhere on a fateful journey to the dark dimensions beyond the furthest reach of mortal comprehension. Thus it is written. Um, anyways. And Strange is, I am prisoner of a mighty spell, a spell triggered by my own urge to rescue the lovely Clea. But none do I know possessed of the power to weave such an evil enchantment, unless it be the one from another dimension, the nameless dimension of doom. I mean, this. first off, I'm going to say this is still some amazing art. It is not Steve Ditko level of art, but it's still gorgeous looking stuff. <clears throat> so it goes, there can be no vestige of doubt, I'm entering the dark dimension once again. The sinister shadow world where the dread Dormammu once held sway. But then came the day when the dread one was forever vanquished. Note, what true believer can forget the magnificent, uh, magnificent moment in Strange Tales 146, Sentimental Stan. Therefore, who can be the per per perpetrator of the new and necromantic threat? And Stevens is, I must waste no more time in all speculation. Memory serves me every foot of the this forbidden world is fraught with frantic danger. I shall need every iota of mystic power I possess to survive. The challenge that confronts me and survive it I shall. So long as, as, as a tragic Clea faces an unknown peril. Whatever the trial that lays ahead by the hoary host huggeth, I vow to be the equal of my task. And then we've got this great panel down here. What now befalls? Shapeless, senseless demons materializing from the murky mist above. Do they seek counsel or combat? I must make no precipitous move. Precipitous, I believe it's him. Move till I divine their purpose. But a split second later, the intention of the abundantly nightmarish fiends become uh, the formless nightmarish fiends become abundantly clear. They're living masses of pure hostility. Their only purpose, their only goal, is the utter destruction. If any who would intrude upon their domain. But their but their intended victim has power enough for thousands such as thee as they. It's an old book. Um This is from uh, um nineteen sixty six um, or six seven. Copyright six 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 seven. By Ragador's Seven Rings, by Serax, Crimson Bands, let yon demons fear, foul torch things, so Doctor Strange commands. Let's get a better view of the spell. I mean, that's pretty amazing art, honestly. It is done. The demons have been dispelled. Now they shall return from the murky limbos which they came. Once more, the deathless chants of the Shandi have hurled aside the sinister sorcery of eternal evil. 
but I must be ever vigilant. The tingling of my changed amulet warns me that the great stranger still lies before me, and to true my sacred calling, I must not shirk. Oh, this is some nice detail. And we have a sense that my unknown foe is toying with me, testing my powers, sampling my resources. What are these that appear for me? A shimless luminescence like the gateways to another world. Put it back up here. I must enter and hold. What is this? The gleaming rings? The momentary blind me to the abyss which lies ahead. Only my amulets gleam, cutting the haze. As sunlight cuts the night, cut the night save me from a fatal plunge. That bridge is about to disappear. We had. Tis all that some of the mad phantasmagoric dream, having neither sense nor nor reason, yet is all who. Too true, I am in that dimension that once was ruled by Dormammu, and some hidden foe seems to possess a power equally in that of the Dread One himself. Up here on the top, still aided by the shades of the seraphim, I shall mend the mystic road upon which I stand and venture forth once more, no matter where the path may lead. Some fantastic fate does surely await me, and I must face it. As it benefits my sacred oath. But then, scant moments later, a barrage of bedeviling bolts. My unseen enemy grows more violent, more deadly with each attack. But the omnipotent Ashtar shall deflect their stings while Ayakamoto's all seeing eye absorbs, nullifies their power. Tushlock got a minute. This stand was really good at. Turning a phrase. Whereas, uh, you know, all things can be said about, there are all kinds of discussions that can be had about art and creations and things, but Stan was really good at putting words into word balloons in, the, in wordplay. Can never take that away. Uh, that's not something new. Once again, my years of training and devotion, blessed by the ancient one have served me in good stead by still. But I must find me means to end these merciless attacks. Even the power of the mystic arts may not protect me forever. I shall send my thoughts into the cosmos, striving to find, to conquer my own assailant. And then, slowly and disturbing, disturbingly, a vague, uncanny comprehension begins to dawn. I sense a female, deadly, inscrutable, unrelenting, but a female like no other ever known. Like none who has ever lived with the memory of mortal man. Female. Always found it kind of goofy that they say females have a woman. But, you know. And then we've got Watch Marvel Superheroes on TV. And that's where we got the Spider-Man. And then we got up here. And we see. It says, at the very moment, in another part of the Dark Dimension, his power is as great as I suspected. And it is surely equal by matchless courage. The mortal is truly a worthy selection to serve as one of the first of Umar's victims. But now, time for the sparring's past. I have studied my mortal foe. I have taken the measure of his power. Now he must. Now, now must Umar devise the means whereby he meets his doom. He must perish in no simple manner. He who defeated my brother, my brother Dormammu, must pay for his pay kind for so calamitous a deed. And she does have the flames of all time around her, around her head. See, we get by the demons of darkness, by the touch ones of fear, at the summons of Umar, let the twin spirits appear. I mean, that is some good artwork, and then. The intruder walks in this world. He to be found taken captive and brought to your master, but he must not escape. So speaks Umar. Those are the flames of Faultine, which power up the warlord who controls the dark dimension. Uh, not now remains, but to wait the coming of him who is called Dark Strange, for the silent spirits of Umar cannot fail. My dread brother Dormammu would have best 
would have bested a foe by so many matchless powers. But though the power of Umar is beyond all measure, still I am a female. Thus I shall cross the accursed human as only a woman can. The ma with the matchless weapons of cunning and overwhelming guile. Even now he has a tight sensing that a new macabre menace is about to strike. There is a dire chill approaching. Its aura feels the very around me. This means that time for testing has ended. The battle now begins. The dice cast their queen turning back. We get ourselves a mighty shoom. There's a shoom over there, and there's a shoom here. Sensual spirits solidifying and silent twin harbingers of Hornus hate. And all the mystical realms, none of them are more feared. None are more invincible. Let's move this back up here again. There's no spell, there is no spell known that can stop such beings, and yet I dare not strike without, I dare not yield without striking back, no matter how futile my, futile my efforts be. Let the glistening glow of a sudden bewitchment form a shield which none may enter. As I fear, they have penetrated the barrier. They are beyond the natural laws which have governed living things. They are neither mortal nor demon. They are, they are the unliving who live. Okay, so that was a little weird. It would be a folly to waste, to waste my strength to drain my power in this use battle. Better that I now submit to them and save my power for one I am soon to face. Let me get this over here. And then, at last, the fateful dramatic co confrontation occurs by the hoary host of Hoggeth. My instincts are correct. A female now confronts me. Forgive the abrupt manner in which I usher you in the presence of Umar. It is for your own safety. Many dire dangers exist in the land unless the strangers come by mystic emissaries. I say, be gone, you perfect... Purpose has been served. Now, Dr. Strange, there's more to discuss. Shast! This is, uh... Sorry about that. If you know my name, Mr. One, how did you learn it? It was taught to me by my brother, who was... Who had a good reason to never forget it. Your brother? Alas. He was known to you as the Dread Dormammu. But no more dread than him, than I, his helpless sister. I, who he imprisoned... Years without end, because I oppose evil deeds. Your words are pleasing to my ears, and yet... Continue up the next page. Watch Marvel Superheroes on TV. Allow me to continue. When my brother departed from this sphere, after all some battle with one known eternity, the spell which he had me in prison was broken, I was freed. Therefore, I finally have an opportunity to make amends for that which Dormammu has wrought. I have attended all that, have, that you have said, but many questions remain. And she thinks, how simple it is to be deceived by my, my, my cloaked victim to thee. I merely, my own feminine sub wiles with a spell of, with a subtle spell of believability. Though I find myself giving credence to your words, I must know more. What was your purpose from bringing me to this world? To the world so... Totally beyond mortal kin. My purpose is a tragic one. There must be a steal yourself for you are about to hear. Speak and be swift. Tis the female Clea. She's been captured by the mindless ones. The mindless ones from whom none have ever escaped alive. The mad monstrous brutes who live only destroy, who have been kept in check by the power of Dormammu alone. True. My brothers defeat, they are free to plunder once again. Final words before she was taken was, "Were Doctor Strange, he will save me." And then, by the sorcery which is mine to command, continue our countless mentions until I found you, Clea. Clea, the group of mass ones. I must find her at once. Sorry. Can it be true? May he be the one who trumps with Dormammu? He who I have so easily deceived. Or is there another answer? Is my power even greater than I suspect? Wait, I shall speed you on your way as only the magic of Umar can. With a simple interdimensional spell, you shall reach the mass ones in seconds. No, I shall find her on my own way. My own manner. My all seeing Agamotto shall guide me to the one I seek. I was wrong. He was not fully deceived. He does suspect. I must stop him. He moves so quickly. He almost took Umar 
unawares. And we have, I knew the sorceress was not to be trusted. Her spell of believability could not be deceived. See the master of the mystic arts. She now seeks to trap me. The rings of enchanted bonds. And in this, there is a test of power between us. I must be equal to challenge. It's a nice piece of art. So he says, but my first task is to break to break free and find Clea. Her safety is all important now and always. Lamar seeks to hurl me into a cap hurl me as a captive into the midst of the mouse ones. Though that is my destination, I should reach her my own manner. Am I able to shine brighter than an old day? The freedom be mine. Let the bonds turn to clay. By rag door seven rings I must. Gotta admit, I mean the art is pretty good. The problem is it's, I don't think it is as colorful as the Ditko art. I think the Ditko's I think Steve Ditko's art was superior. Uh, not that it isn't good. I just I think Steve Ditko's pencils and or inked and colored were, were now by employing my infallible cloak of levitation, I must rise to safety or air another mystic attack be launched. Umar's motives are a shrouded mystery to me. There be no doubt that she's my enemy, and though she's but a female, the aura of her power seems to fill this very universe. All of those who threatened me in the past, the Delvedi Umar, or maybe the most deadliest I have ever, ever faced. The last page of the story. Two large panels. We have, but there can be no turning back. Umar is aware that I would Risk all for Clea, therefore, so long as the sister of Dormammu lives, the innocent Clea is in death, deadly jeopardy. For the sorceress knows full well the value of her helpless hostage. He's escaped the swirling bonds, but it will, will avail what it will be to no avail. The trap is complete. No matter how he reaches the mindless ones, he shall await certain doom. The mindless ones. And so the mindless ones have no thought, no goal, no desire other than destroy. When they have no victim to attack, they turn against each other. They feel no pain, they feel no death. Nothing can survive their onslaught. And thus does Umar gain the ultimate triumph from the ashes of the defeat of Doctor Strange. Next, it's called uh, Holding in Some Mindless Ones. I don't have the next book yet, but uh, so I was. I'm trying to go out, get all the older Doctor Strange stuff. You know, so this is the beginning of Umar. Touchable. She is a fall time. The, the race that she and Dormammu and Clea come from, they're the fall time, and they're the warlords of the dark dimension. Uh, a lot of backs, you know, a lot of backs, right? They're not actually native to the plane. They've come from outside. Eventually, uh, they took power. Dormammu tricked, and took all the power for himself. And then Umar. And then in modern times, Clea. Is the war is the warlord the sorcerer supreme of the dark dimension? Well, Stephen is the sorcerer supreme of our dimension, and she was temporarily, when Doctor Strange was 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 dead, she became the sorcerer supreme of the Earth dimension. But and that was in the Strange series, which I already showed up. But anyways, I just want to show off this art. I I love the old Strange tales. Some good stuff. Uh, the story's pretty decent. Uh, Umar is an interesting villain who bedevils him for decades. And maybe we'll even see her in uh, Doctor Strange 3 when we see Clea and we go back to the Dark Dimension and Doctor Strange comes back. Anyways, this is Stormcast. I just wanted to show off uh, Strange Tales. Uh, uh, 152, the Doctor Strange story. There's a Nick Fury story in there that I can go over. I honestly probably not. I'm not a. I wasn't a big fan of the Nick Fury Age of the Shield stuff, so. But I just want to show off the Doctor Strange story. Sorry, this run run on pretty long. Um, like if you if you wouldn't if you, if you enjoyed this, comment. Tell me what you think. If you love Doctor, if you love Strange Tales and Doctor Strange, if you, you know, do you enjoy this stories and art as, as much as Steve did go? Did you prefer other stuff or? Something that uh, you would like to there, and uh, if you've not subscribed, I'd really like you to subscribe. Um, 
I have some more horror books to go over in the future, including uh, this House of Mystery 179, which is the first Barney Wrights in art in the comic industry. That is for a different time. Anyways, this is Stormcastle. Uh, thank you for, for watching along, and hope you have a good one.